Well, he apologises, but the reactions are pretty quick. Finding himself in no man's land, neither up nor back. Now that's a clever variety that Sampras may have learnt from his uh, mate Tim Henman. It's gone! I love the way Sampras gave a little jump to help the half volley over the net. That time he didn't get that serve wide enough, and the half volley wasn't deep enough. Oh, nice touch. Oh, Sampras, terrific stuff. coming up with another ace out wide, that time off a second serve. Uh, that's as good a set as Sampras can play. Eight aces, 13 clean winners, and after 28 minutes, he has the first set. Oh, well, I was going to say, what a good backhand from Quirton. That's good effort from Quirton. Oh, well done, Gustavo Quirton. Well, Sampras uh, displaying a slam dunk, but I think through he didn't need to. That was going wide, wasn't it? Sampras had him. Got him this time, and the clinch fist from Sampras. Oh, brilliant. Just the right height to get over Sampras. Back chance. Brilliant. And instead of being two sets to love down, Gustavo Quirton breaks back and the match comes alive at five all. Oh, terrific play from both of them. Two breaks of the Sampras serve now in the tie break. Quite amazing. Well, that's the glory of sport, isn't it? It's the backhand lob again. 
while making as many returns is so important. Yes! Great stuff. Intense relief. Lifelike on the approach, really cut through the ball. Gustavo Quirton. Oh well he read the spin. Well the new racket was obviously strung to perfection. At the Australian. This time the early break goes to Sampras. Well, it's Sampras who's come on strong in this tie break. He wins the third set tiebreak by seven points to five and leads by two sets to one. Yes, he's made it. Serve deep and the delightful little stop volley. Sabras holds from fifteen forty. Can't believe it. The half volley from Sampras right onto the line. Of course, a 
A lot of the uh, crowd thinking it was out, but he knows it wasn't. is not statistics, eh? Well, well, that is one of the reasons he can capable of producing moments of sheer genius. All the time in the world has set himself, and he's set himself perfectly. Curtain holds. Well, wow, beautifully played. So poised was Sampras there. It's on the line, and Gustavo Curtin has set point. He's made another one on the line. Yeah, he closed it down. He anticipated superbly. Sampras clings on, two set points, he survives, and it'll be a third successive tie-break. Right onto the line, the approach shot. Wonderful pick-up on the half volley, and Gustavo... It's wide, and Sampras has four championship points. Curtin is not going to lie down. Can he will leave it? Three have slipped away, and now they're back on serve. Four match points have come and gone. Remind you of Henman against Agassi, perchance? It's on the line. Quirtin let it go. But it had a little bit of topspin. And it's a fifth championship point for Sampras. Uh, well called by the lines, and no doubt about it. Sampras hit it well. Burton uh, just unhappy with the state of affairs, but absolutely no doubt about the call. Bad error of judgment by him. Well, certainly memories of Hedman now. Seven. That'll go wide and... Extraordinary. Six it seemed to have bounced Six over Sampras's racket. Seven Indeed, seven it had, but it went out as well. Gustavo Quirton still furious. You can see what he did to his racket over the call on his end, but it was a good call. And it's Sampras who takes the acclamation as he becomes the first man ever to win 11 Masters Series titles. But boy, was he pushed to the limit.
Well, and it's outstanding, I think, all-round performance by both of them. Sampras seemed to be pacing himself, and uh, he just about got it right, didn't he? But he, my goodness, he uh, cut it a little fine. Gustavo, first of all, congratulations on a fabulous match. I think you proved to everyone that you can play on this fast surface. Well, uh, definitely it was a great week for me. I mean, I, I played since the first match very well. The, the crowd, Brazilian crowd especially, supported me so, so big. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, I, I had a chance to at least try to beat uh, Agassi and Sampras, but unfortunately, it wasn't, my game wasn't enough. And uh, I'm still happy by the way I play, and just uh, uh, being in the first, first time in the final here, so it's, it's a great feeling. Congratulations on a fabulous match. <laughs> Pete, congratulations, you were cruising along, 6-1, and all of a sudden you got in a dogfight. I sure did. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't play a great game there at 5 4, and, and I lost a second, changed the whole course of the match. But I was uh, having to work very hard. Gustav was making me hit a lot of low volleys, and I was choking there at the end, to be honest with you. I was feeling my nerves a little bit, but I got through at the end. Well, congratulations on a great effort. So, Retzel, I think you have a trophy and a comment for our champion, Pete Sampras. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, the best language in the world. It's impressive. Thank you. You're the first winner of the Ericsson Open, and you're back. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our, our 2000 Ericsson Open men's singles champion, Pete Sampras.